Hello, everybody. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How was your vacation? Well, in the house. In the house, Graciela. Yes. Uh, I'm yes. sorry. Yes. Yes. Only for this year. Next year, to the beach, yes, right? <laughs> Yes. I don't like the beach. I like the mountains. Maybe the mountains. next year. Yes, the mountains. Un chalate. Oh, nice. I I went to El Chalatenango Italia. only one time in Chalatenango, but yes, it's beautiful. No, La Palma. No, no, no. I don't remember the town, but it's not La Palma. It's, it's another town. Yes. We went to a river, but yeah, it was. Don't you remember? Very good. Yes. And Ignacio. And, there is a mountain, El Pital. El Pital, it's, right? Yes, and, it's beautiful. <laughs> beautiful, yes. I like. And you, Delmi, where did you go, Delmi? Only in the house. In the house. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Let me check. Uh, this is Monica Colato, right? Monica? Yes. Yes, okay. Yes. Let me see, Monica. Mm -hmm. You are new in the group, right? Stay new in the group, Monica. No. No, no, no. Sorry, but I don't have your name. Let me see. Ah, yes, Monica. Eh, Monica Sa Sales. Sala, Sal Sales. Sales Colato. Ah, uh -huh, yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. yes. Excellent. And Christopher Sanchez. Let me check the the attendance. Iris Herrera, mm -hmm. Flor, Lupita Coronado. Mm -hmm. Hello, teacher. Hello, welcome. Welcome back to the classes. Let me see. Um, Lupita Coronado. Oops, I don't find you, Lupita. Let me, Gabriela. Okay. I will copy here. Lupita Coronado. Okay. Later, I will continue. So, now, welcome back again. I hope you have, uh, you had a nice vacation. Sarita, welcome. And open your cameras, please. I want to see you. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're going to start with the review of the last class, right? Uh, remember, we have five sections to finish, five sections, and we are going to review the section number one. Just the, mm -hmm. just we see the video, the, and we're going to check the, the knowledge check, right? Let me see. Give me a second. Okay. Oops, here, right. Okay. I will share my, my screen. And we are going to watch the video last time, right? Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form simple present questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about daily routines, which... Sorry, sorry, this is not the one. Give me a second. Yes, I want to check the section, the section number number one again. Right, the conversation in section one. Mm -hmm. Let's wait to open. That's it, right? It's one point twelve. Here's.
Mm -hmm. One point is in here, right? Okay, pay attention now. Which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by practicing a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's listen and practice. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Which is heard a conversation in which lots of questions were asked and answered. I would like to explain how these questions are formed. Let me start by explaining the auxiliary verbs that are used when forming questions in the simple present. Do and does are the auxiliary verbs. As we start forming questions, you must also understand this rule. Do equals to I, you, we, and they. Does equals to he, she, and it. This means that we will use the auxiliary do whenever we use the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And we will use the auxiliary does whenever we use the pronouns he, she, and it. Having said this, let me write the formulas to form questions. For yes or no questions, do or does plus subject plus the verb plus some kind of complement. For WH questions, WH word plus do or does plus a subject plus a verb plus some kind of complement. Now let's take a look at the simple present questions on your screen. Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they drive to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have lunch? At 1 o'clock. When do they drive to work? Every day. On the left side of the chart, you can see yes or no questions. So if you recall the formula that I mentioned a minute ago, for yes or no questions, do or does, plus a subject, plus some kind of verb, plus a complement. Uh, we're going to take the first example. Do you get up early? Do is the auxiliary verb. You is the subject. Get up is the verb. And early is the complement. And of course, we need to add a question mark at the end. The next question. Does is the auxiliary verb. He is the subject. Have is the verb. Lunch at noon is the complement. Of course, we need to add a question mark at the end. Now, let me show you WH questions. Once again, if you recall the formula that I mentioned a minute ago, for WH questions, WH word plus do or does plus the subject plus some kind of verb plus some kind of complement. Uh, let me select the first question on the right side of the chart. What time do you get up? What time is the WH word? Do is the auxiliary verb. You is the subject. Get up is the verb. And let's just analyze one more example. What time 
does he have lunch? What time is the WH word? Does is the auxiliary. He is the subject. Have is the verb. Lunch is the complement. Now it's your turn to practice these concepts by making as many examples of your own as you possibly can. Focus on making questions and answers. Form questions about the routine of your family, friends, and coworkers. After you complete this task, share it in our discussion forums. Okay. Now I have some commentaries here about the exercise, right? But right now we're going to check the knowledge check, right? Uh, I imagine all of you finished, right? Espero que todos lo hayan hecho en vacaciones, right? That you finished. Remember it was assignment, it was homework, right? So, and then we have these uh, uh, exercises. Let's check it together, right? I'm going to start with uh, Beatriz Galdames. Beatriz, can you help me with this exercise, please? Number two. Okay, listen. I need you for the question, right? Necesito que me dé la respuesta a esta pregunta, right? Remember, the structure is WH word. In this case, it is WH is what, right? What time? And then you have the auxiliary, do or does, the subject, and then the verb, and finally the complement, right? So what is the answer here? Beatriz, here, can you see? See? Yes, okay. I will help you, right? What time? What? Uh huh. What time? Do. Uh huh. Uh, what do? Uh, you uh -huh. lunch. Do you eat? Eat lunch. Lunch. Okay. Eat lunch. So, so the answer is what time? Do you eat lunch, right? Thank you very much. Now let's go to number three. Number three, right? Uh, let me see. Brian, please. Brian Pinto. Can you help me, Brian? Okay, number three is uh, yes, no question. Information question. Can you hear me, Brian? Brian, can you hear me? Okay, so um, Christopher Sanchez, please. Christopher? Hello. Hello, Christopher, welcome. So listen, I need you to make the question here, right? Okay. If, if you don't see WH, si no vemos la WH, so it's a yes, no question, right? So you're going to start, I will help you, with the auxiliary DAS, okay? DAS. Okay, come on. You can do it, Christian. I oh, know, sorry, Christopher, excuse me. Is does uh -huh. Thank you. <laughs> okay. It's better now, right? Does what is the subject? What is the subject? ¿Cuál sería el sujeto acá? Okay. These are a clock? No, 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 no. But don't worry, Christian. Eh, eh, Christopher, sorry. I said Christian, sorry. Christopher, sorry. And uh, let me see. Cory Monterrosa is going to help me. Cory. Can you okay. help Christopher, please? Does this class start at 8 o'clock? Uh -huh. So in this case, listen, okay. this class is the subject, huh? This class, yes. Uh -huh. Does this class start? This is the verb start? The verb start. Mm -hmm. At 8 o'clock? Last 8 o'clock complement. Uh, yes, at 8 o'clock is complement. And it's true, right? Or classes start at 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Okay, number yeah. four. Let, number four. Let me see who can help me. Uh, uh, Flor, please. Can you help me, Flor? With number four. 
Okay, teacher. Do, when do you study English? Good. So it's an information question. Siempre que haya una WH es una pregunta de información. So, right? So in this case is when the auxiliary do, the subject you, and the, comp the verb study, and the complement English. Right? Thank you very much. Okay, now, uh, Gabriel Hernandez, can you help me with number five, please, to finish the review? Para terminar no. repaso. Yes, please. Gabriela, Do help you me. and your friends play a sport on weekends? Excellent. Do you and your friends, correct. That's nice. So, excellent, right? Now we're going to start with uh, the section number two. Today, we're going to start, right? Let's, uh, section number two. Give me a second. Okay. In the section number two, we're going to continue talking about the simple present, right? Just give me a second here. Okay, here we are, right? Now, let me check something. I'm going to start with the PowerPoint presentation here, right? Okay. Let me see here, right? Okay. Oops, this is not the correct one. Let me see. No, sorry. This is the one. Okay. Good. Begin it, right? Okay. Beginner module two, right? Today we're going to learn vocabulary, house, and apartment. We're going to learn about the different rooms in a house and in an apartment, right? Can you see this is a beautiful apartment, eh? And a beautiful house. Also today we're going to continue learning about the simple present, short answer, respuesta corta, right? And also we're going to practice a conversation. The name of the conversation is my new apartment, my new apartment, right? Okay, and uh, this is the date, of course, right? Okay, now the lesson objective for today. Uh, who's going to help me to read? Uh, Gloria Escalante, can you read the, the lesson objective, please, for today? Can you see the, the screen? The... Uh, no. No, no, no. I okay. Can... Sorry, sorry. Give me, a, give me a second. Give me a second. Retroceda, teacher. Yes, yeah, yes. Okay, sorry. Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay. Uh, yes, here. Now, can you see now? No. No, no. I can't see. Sorry, sorry. No. Excuse me, I don't know what happened. Give me a second. I will close all the windows. Uh, this one. Mm -hmm. Give me a second and I will start with this. Okay, okay. Always a problem here and here. Okay, now? Yes. Yes, okay, Lesson I'm sorry. Objective. Okay, yes. By uh -huh. the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about places, houses, and apartments. And apartments, good. Okay, now. Okay. Now we're going to start with the vocabulary. Can you see the, the screen? Yes. Yes, okay, continue. So, listen please. House, first floor, second floor, dining room, kitchen, laundry room, living room, stairs, yard, bedroom, closet, hall, Garage, elevator, lobby, 
apartment. Just give me a second, I will pass here, please. Apartment, apartment building. So, okay, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. House. House. Dining room. Dining room. But remember to turn off the, the <coughs> microphone for the moment, please. Turn off the microphones, okay? I want to see only your lips in the video, right? Okay, now continue. Living room. Bedroom. Garage. Apartment. First floor, kitchen, stairs, closet, elevator, apartment building, second floor, laundry room, yard, hall, lobby, okay? Let's practice again. Come on. Let's do it together. House. Dining room. Living room. Can you see my lips in the camera? The, the. Living room. Repeat. Come on. Bedroom. Garage. Apartment. First floor, kitchen, stairs, closet, elevator, apartment building, second floor, laundry room, yard, hall, Lobby. Okay, this is the vocabulary for today. Okay, now we're going to continue with the platform. Teacher. Yes, tell Teacher, me. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me, tell me, please. I What's the meaning of stairs? Stairs yes. is gradas, escaleras. Okay. Yes. And what is Thank the meaning of hall? Hall is a uh, pasillo. Okay. Okay, in the hall, pasillo, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, any other question? Questions? No, no. no. Okay, let's no. continue now with the platform, right? Okay, now I will share the, the screen again. Okay, here, right? So, vocabulary, house and apartment. This is in your platform, right? Now, pay attention, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for talking about places in houses and apartments. Let's get started by listening and repeating. House. The house has two floors, a garage, and a yard. The first floor has a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a laundry room, and stairs to the second floor. The second floor has a hall, three bedrooms, and a bathroom. Every bedroom has a closet. Apartment the apartment building has a lobby and an elevator. Every apartment has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a closet. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just heard. I would like for you to describe your home. Practice okay, the bathroom and a closet. I want to show you something here, right? Now it's your turn to practice the bathroom, kitchen, Give me a second. Okay, good. Here. Uh, can you see the stair here in the picture? Stairs? Grada, right? Yes. Stairs, yes. And here the hall, right? Pasillo. The oh. hall. The mm -hmm. hall, yes. And then you can see all yeah, the, yeah. the vocabulary, right? Okay, let's continue with the video. Bathroom and a closet. 
Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just heard. I would like for you to describe your home. Let me provide the following questions to help you do that. What rooms are in your house? What rooms are in houses in your country? What rooms are in apartments in your country? Okay, here we have the question, right? What rooms are in your house? What rooms are in your house? Okay, Graciela de Duarte, can you help me with this question, please? Yes. In my house are living room, dining room, two bedroom, a kitchen, and a bathroom. Okay, excellent. Very good. Now, let me see. Uh, Iris Herrera, please. The next question. What rooms are in houses in El Salvador? Oh. Okay. Uh, in this. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh no. Uh, dining room. Mm -hmm. Living room. Kitchen. And bedroom. Um. Sometimes garage. Sometimes garage. It's normal. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so or in the parking of the neighbor, right? El parqueo de la colonia sometimes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Iris. Okay, now, Kevin, can you help me, Kevin? Kevin? Kevin Portillo, hello. Hello. Okay, Kevin. Uh, do you live in a house or in an apartment, Kevin? House house okay but normally i imagine you 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 know the colonia ibu colonia sacamil etc cetera, etc cetera, where they, they have a lot of apartment right so normally what are the rooms in an apartment cuáles son los cuartos que normalmente tiene un apartamento in el salvador kevin mm, kitchen okay bathroom mm. Uh, living room? Mm. Living room, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Living room. Sala. Mm -hmm. Okay. Only that, right? The apartments are really small. Apartments are really small. Lobby. Uh, sometimes, yes. In some uh, buildings, lobby. But the popular apartments in El Salvador, no lobby, right? No lobby. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much for your participation. Okay, now. After you continue. complete this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, remember, we have uh, this part, discussion, and we have some commentaries. Here you can add your, your commentaries, right? And, and it says, add a post, agregar un, un comentario, right? And then you can add your commentaries. For example, you can say the, the rooms in your house and the rooms in a, in a house in, in houses in El Salvador, sorry, and the rooms in the houses, the apartments, sorry, in El Salvador, right? Okay, so this is the vocabulary. I don't know if you have any extra question. So let's continue, right? Let's continue. Uh, here we have a, a, a conversation, right? in another topic. But before to go to this topic, we're going to check again the PowerPoint presentation. Okay, here. Sorry, let me check this. Okay. Here we have the second lesson objective for today, right? Now, let me see who's going to help me. Maria, please. Maria Maya, can you help me, please? Can you read the, the objective for the second part of the class? By the um, of this class, you will learn how to respond to yes, no, question, 
in the simple present. Um, additionally, you will practice a conversation about an apartment with in illustrate, right? Illustrate. Illustrate. Mm -hmm. How this topic is used use in real field life setting. Correct. In un scenario de la vida real, right? Real life setting. Correct. This is the objective for today. And we are going to continue learning about the yes no questions. Remember, uh, before vacation, we were learning that we have two categories of questions. Yes, no questions and information question, right? In yes, no question, we say yes, no, yes, no. Are you a student? Yes, I am. Can you speak English? Yes, I can. Or oh, no, I can't, right? Uh, do you like uh, pizza? Yes, I do. Uh, so we have yes or no. But when we have information question, we have uh, specific information. But today, the topic is this, yes, no question, and how to answer in short, right? So we're going to learn how to answer those questions with using the auxiliary and giving short answer, right? And uh, we're going to practice a conversation. That's it, that's it, the class, okay? Now, uh, to introduce, let me show you this, right? Here we have the auxiliary do and does. Remember in yes, no questions, we use the auxiliary do and does. It depends of the, of the subject, right? Here, for example, uh, we have uh, do and does, right? Do is for I, does is for he. Do is for you, does is for she. Do is for we, does is for it. And finally, do is for they. So remember this, right? Keep this in mind, right? He, she, and it does. I, you, we, and they do, right? Okay, that's it, right? Now, uh, let's make a mini, mini quiz, right? Mini laboratorio. Let me see. Um, Maritza Cañas. Maritza, I will tell you a pronoun and then you tell me do or you tell me does, right? Yes, Maritza, ready? You and your boy. <laughs> come on, Maritza. Okay, come on. Okay. Uh, they. Well. Do or does? <laughs> Sorry? Do or does, Maritza? Do. Do, do correct. Do. do. Ah, okay. Do. do. Excellent. What's the, what's the name of your boy, Maritza? What's the name of your boy? Fernando. 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 Nice to meet you, Fernando. <laughs> okay, good. Now let's continue, please. Uh, let me see. Uh, Pamela Orellana. No, Pamela is not. Pamela Orellana? No, right? Roberto. Roberto Quijano. I can see you, Roberto. Welcome. Sí. Okay, uh, she, do or does? Does. That's correct, easy, right? And Xiomara Guerra, Xiomara Guerra, please. And you, Xiomara? Do. Excellent. Suleima. Suleima, can you hear me, Suleima? Aquí, buenas yes. noches. Okay, good night. Hello, good evening, sorry. Good evening. Okay, Suleima, eh, for Maria, Maria is do or does? Does. Correct. Thank you very much. Sarita, Sara Quintanilla. Come on, Good Sarah. evening. Good evening. Hello. Now, for Pedro and I, Pedro and I, is do or does? Does. Pedro. Ajá, and I. Pedro. Pedro. And I. I. Do. Do. Correct. Excellent. Very good. Now, 
Let's continue checking. Let's continue checking. Here. Okay. And also, we have the contractions. Look. When it's negative, we say, do not or don't. Does not or doesn't, right? Okay. okay, now, let's practice the pronunciation. Repeat after me, please. Do not. Don't. Notice that it's not don't, don't, no, no, it's don't. Does not. Doesn't. Doesn't. Okay? So this is how we make the simple present short answer, right? With the auxiliary do and does. Remember, it's always in the simple present. No past, no future. Simple present, right? Okay, now let's continue with the structure, right? This is the uh, more complicated part, right? The structure, right? So we have here the yes, no question, and then we have the structure auxiliary, subject, verb, and component, right? Auxiliary, subject, verb, and component. Remember that when you use the knowledge check, right? The knowledge check of the quiz, remember this structure. Auxiliary, subject, verb, and component, right? For example, do they live in a house? Do they live in a house? Do is the auxiliary, they is the subject, live is the verb, right? And the complement is in a house. Notice that the subject could be they, we, my parents, my friends, right? Pedro and Juan, etc., etc. So in this case, we use do. Does, does he have a garage? Does is the auxiliary, he is the subject, have is the verb, and a garage is the complement. Remember that also in the subject we can have he, she, it, Pedro, Maria, Juan, Misifus, etc., etc., right? So we have a third person singular, tercera persona singular. So in that case, we use das, okay? And now we have the short answers. Look, please. Short answers. Just give me a second here. Okay. In affirmative, we say yes, plus subject, plus auxiliary, right? So, for example, do they live in a house? Yes, they do. So in this case, you don't say, yes, they live. No, 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 no. Don't say that. It's yes, they do. So it's mandatory, it's obligatorio, it's mandatory to use the auxiliary, not the verb, right? Something similar happened in the negative. No plus subject plus auxiliary plus not, right? At the beginning, you say no, comma, he does not or he doesn't, right? Again, it's not necessary to say no, he not have. And incorrect, right? <laughs> no, he not have is incorrect. It's no, he does not. Or no, he doesn't, right? So we use the auxiliary. Okay, now. Let's go to the platform, right? And let's see this structure. Oh, sorry, give me a second here. Okay, here we have more examples. The yes, no questions. Listen, do you want the suit enlarged? Yes, I do. In affirmative, right? Oh, no, I don't. Uh, do they need the suit enlarged? Or do they have the suit enlarged? Yes, they do. Or no, they don't. Now in third person singular, tercera persona singular. Does he like those shoes in black? Yes, he does. Oh no, he doesn't. 
Does he need those shoes in black? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does she have those shoes in black? Yes, she does. Or oh, no, she doesn't. Notice the structure or short answer, right? Remember, this is only for yes, no question. Esta estructura no me la voy a usar en la information question. Solo en la yes, no question, okay? Don't say, where do you live? Yes, I do. <laughs> no, right? And incorrect. Or, oh, what is your name? No, I don't. No, come on, no. Incorrect, right? In information question, specific information. And in yes, no question, yes or no. And the auxiliary, do, don't in negative, does, and doesn't in negative, right? Okay? That's it, right? This is the, the grammar for today. Any question, class? Questions? Okay, now I have question for you. Let me see. I need one example. Teacher, yes, tell me, tell me. Yes, come por on. For example, si, si preguntara, do you like my car? Mm -hmm. Two Entonces, options. Ahí si de... Two Ajá. options. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Do you? And then Ajá. the answer is, yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Ah, okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay, good. You're welcome, right? Now, I will make questions. Let me see. Uh, Monica Colato, please. Monica, give me one example. Yes. Give me one example, Monica, using do. Do. One question. Do you want eat uh, spaghetti? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, no, I don't, right? Oh, no, I don't. Um, in my case, in the case of the teacher, uh, Monica, yes, I do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, okay. that's it, right? Now, next one. Let me see. <clears throat> uh, Jamie. Jamie Resinos, please. Jamie Resinos. Uh, can you give me one example using das, Jamie? Jamie, can you hear me? Okay, so Lupita, please. Lupita Coronado? Yeah. Can you hear Hello, me? Hello, teacher. Hello. Now give me one example, please, using das. Um, de los que tiene en la tabla o uno que yes, yo... Yes. No, you can invent, please, invent. Oh, okay. And um, does she have... Um, the the black jacket. Uh huh. Does she have a black jacket? A black jacket, and then two options, right? Yes, she does. Or no, she doesn't, right? Okay, very good. Now, let's continue, right? Uh, now we're going to continue with the platform. Let's continue with the platform here. Okay. And we have a conversation in the grammar, right? Here. The simple present short answer. Pay attention, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to respond to yes or no questions in the simple present. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about an apartment, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation my new apartment this conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting let's listen and practice guess what i have a new apartment that's great what's it like it's really beautiful is it very big well it has a big living room a small bedroom a bathroom and a kitchen where is it on lakeview drive Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Now, let's try to understand simple present short answers. Again, Lesson right? And practice precision. My new apartment. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen 
and practice. Okay, now we're going to listen and repeat, right? First, I will ask you to repeat, and then we're going to listen to the audio and repeat after the audio, right? Okay, come on. Let's start first with the teacher, right? Come on, repeat after me, please. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? What's it like? What's it like? It's really beautiful. It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room. It has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. It has a great view of another apartment building. Good. Now, listen to the audio and repeat, please, after the audio. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room. A small bedroom. A bathroom and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay, very good. So do you have any question, class, about vocabulary in the conversation? Teacher, I have a question. Tell me, tell me, come on. Um, the way that she, you, the key uses a question. What is it like? What is the meaning? ¿Cómo es? Uh -huh, that's it. ¿Cómo es el yeah. apartamento, right? What's, what, you can substitute, right? What is it like? like? But here we have a contraction. Look, what's? Contraction. But, uh, I I have a I I confused because like is a verb, but here. Ah no 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 no! I understand your question. Yes, no. In this case, it is is not uh is not the verb, 
right? Uh, this is an adverb. That means in Spanish, como, como. Como. Uh -huh. How do you like it, for example? Como te gusta? How do you like it? Uh -huh. That um, is different, right? That is different to like, say, do you like pizza, for example? Uh -huh. So when I yeah. say like, I can use it as a verb, me gusta, gustar, right? And as an adverb, como, como. For like example, the, how are like you? the song of uh, Madonna, like a virgin. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like, a, like a virgin. Okay. That's it. Yes, I remember. Good example. Thank you. Yes. And you can also make a substitution of it. You can say, What is the new apartment like? What is the new apartment like? Uh -huh. So it is substitution for the new apartment, right? Okay. okay. Understand? Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Other question? Come on. I like questions. Come on. No more questions? Good. Now, because of the time, we're only practice with four students today, right? Four students. So I need volunteers to practice the conversation for the class. Me? Uh, okay. Say your Me? name. Cori Monterrosa. Cori. Okay. Thank you. Cori Linda, right? Cori is Linda, okay. And the other volunteer, who is the other? Graciela Duarte. Graciela, okay. Thank you, Graciela. Graciela, you're going to be Chris. Okay. okay. Ladies okay. and gentlemen, Cori and Graciela. Okay. Guess what? I have a new apartment. Graciela. Graciela. Oh, oh sorry. Yes, what? I have a no, new apartment. No. I'm Linda and you are Chris. Okay. Okay. Oh, Sorry. Again, again. Again. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What is like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room and a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. What is it? On Lakeview <laughs> Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay, thank you. Good participation, right? And remember the question. What's it like? What's it like? Uh -huh. What's it like? What's it like? Uh -huh. Okay, good. Two more volunteers, please. Two more volunteers. I need a Linda and I need a Chris. Volunteers, please. Hello. Me, teacher. Okay, who, your name, please. Gloria. Gloria, th Gloria. Thank you, Gloria. So, Gloria, you're going to be Linda, right? Okay. okay. And the boys, what happened with the boys today? Huh? Kevin, Brian. Come on, boys. Only the girls today. Solo las chicas están respondiendo. What's, what's up, boys? No boys? Okay, another girl, so. Me, me. Sara, ah, I, I, sorry, Sarita. Oh. So, sorry, Sarita. I, I have another, a boy. I need a boy, please. <laughs> but thank you for your particip participation, Sarita. Okay, who is the boy? Christopher. No. The boy? ¿Quién es el chico? Que Yo, Kevin. Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. So, Kevin is going to be Chris, right? Okay, ready? One, two, three. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's green. That's it's light. It's really beautiful. It is very bad. Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is? On Lake View Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a new a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay, thank you very much for your participation, right? In a future class, we're going to make groups, right? But for the moment, let's continue with the video. Pay attention to the video. Now, let's try to understand simple present short answers. I would like for you to notice the chart on the screen. Do you live in an apartment? 
Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Okay, I'm sorry for the interruption. Eh, todavía un, un micrófono encendido por ahí. Me hacen el favor, please. Thank you very much. Thank you. Turn off. Apaguemos los micrófonos. Thank you. Now, let's continue. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. We'll start on the left side of this chart. Let's look at the question. Do you live in an apartment? The way we answer this type of question is by saying, yes, I do, or no, I don't. When responding to yes or no questions, we will typically answer in this way. It's important that we recall a rule that I explained a few lessons ago. The auxiliary to use when forming questions and short answers in the simple present is the following. For the pronouns, I, you, we, and they, do, or don't. For the pronouns, he, she, and it, does, or doesn't. Now, if you see the example, do the bedrooms have windows? Because we're talking about bedrooms, plural, we're going to use the pronoun they and the auxiliary do or don't. So the answer can be posited by saying yes, they do. Or negative by saying no, they don't. Let's analyze one more example. Does Chris live in a house? Because we're talking about Chris, singular, and third person, we're going to use the pronoun he and the auxiliary does or doesn't. So the answer can be positive by saying yes, he does, or negative by saying no, he doesn't. Now it's your turn to practice by making yes or no questions and making short answers. Ask questions about the houses or apartments of your friends, relatives, and co-workers. And make short answers as well. Whenever you finish this task, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, that's it, right? Now, uh, to finish the class, right, the last five minutes, uh, I, I need to remind you something, right? Quiero recordarles algo. That in the platform, after the video, you can give your commentaries, okay? Cada vez que vamos un video, okay? Eh, me gustaría ver sus comentarios después del video, sus ejemplos, right? And we can check it together, right? Los podemos chequear en clases. No hay problema. Y si hay que hacer algunas correcciones, las hacemos. Así que sin miedo, pongan a equivocarse. Ustedes pongan lo que ustedes creen que es correcto, ¿ok? And uh, eh, también vamos a asignar esta semana eh, los Knowledge ch eh, Check, right? Que son como pequeños laboratorios que van viendo ustedes. Necesito que también los vayan terminando. Eh, ahora chequeamos los de la sección 1 y estamos en la sección 2 ya. Ya estamos en la sección 2, ¿ok? Y esta semana esperamos terminar la sección 3 también. ¿Ah? Ok, para el jueves. Así que por favor terminen sus uh, ejercicios. Si hay preguntas, ahí estoy a la orden en el WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Así que no hay problema, ahí estamos. Si no entienden algo, pues ya saben, estoy a sus órdenes. Así que hoy vamos a terminar con dos ejemplos nada más. Two examples. Let me see. Eh, Miriam González y Jennifer Duarte. Okay, estas chicas no me han participado ahora, así que vamos a ver. Okay, come on, let's, you can do it. Eh, Miriam, Miriam González. Hello, good, good evening. Good evening. Okay, eh, give me one example of a yes, no question. Okay, about houses and apartments. Repeat, please. You give me one example, right? Me va a dar un ejemplo de una pregunta de, de yes, no question, okay? 
You can say, do you, do they, does he, mm. does she, uh -huh. one example, right? Okay, okay. Do you live in a white house? Do you live in a white house? Thank you. Now, Jennifer Duarte, can you answer the question? Me contesta la pregunta, Jennifer. Um, Do you live in a white house? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Thank you. I like it. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, good. Now, uh, I will, I will uh, ask for the attendance. Uh, voy a pasar... La asistencia, el que no mencione, me dice. No me mencionó, teacher, ¿ok? Uh, Beatriz Galdames, Brian Pinto, Christopher Sánchez, Christopher Pérez, ¿verdad? Pérez es. Ok. Es que aquí tengo Christopher Cañas, no sé si lo confundí. No, ¿verdad? Es Cristian Pérez. Cristian Pérez. Es Cristian Pérez. Ah, ok. Cristian yes. Pérez. Sorry, excuse me. Ok, good. Eh, Christopher Sánchez, Cori Monterrosa, Delmi Carranza, Flor, Gabriela Hernández, Gloria Escalante, Graciela Duarte, Iris, Jennifer Duarte, Kevin Portillo, María Amaya, Maritza Cañas, Roberto Quijano, Xiomara Guerra, Zuleima, Sara Quintanilla, Mónica, Carlos Domínguez, Cristian Pérez, Jamie Recinos, Miriam González, Lupita Coronado, Beatriz Guevara y Silvia Castro. ¿A quién no mencioné? Todos estamos. Ok. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Los veo mañana. Los chicos de Holcim, ¿se me quedan, por favor? Vamos a tomarnos la foto, como siempre. Ok. Los demás, thank you very much. Have a good night. Good night, good night, good night teacher. Ok. Uh, los uh -huh. chicos de Holcim se me quedan, por favor, un ratito. Vamos a tomar la foto. Yo les aviso cuando ya la cámara esté lista. Ok. Ok, a la cuenta de tres. Uno, dos, tres. Ok. Thank you very much. That's it, right? Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night teacher. See you good tomorrow. Night. God bless you. God bless you. Bye. Bye.